My name is Boyd Sharp. I'm 39 years old, working in an office all day, and uh, I am in the biggest rut. I need a reason to get out of bed in the morning, and uh, these days, other than my kids, I don't have it. Boyd has no background in mixed martial arts, but somehow he came up with the idea that, hey, I want to try this. I want to see some heart here. I've never been in a fight in my entire life, but in one year, I'm going to get in a mixed martial arts cage and fight a professional fight. If I had a nickel for everybody who told me I wanted to be a fighter, I wouldn't have to teach. I think I'd be on a beach in South America somewhere. <laughs> when I told people that I was going to do this, they said, A, you're nuts, and B, can I come too? The journey for me is to see if I can transform these people who know nothing into fighters. I walked in here thinking, you know, I've had some street fights, I think I can hold my own. And then to have your ass handed to you so easily, you realize, okay, you've got a lot to learn, pal. We're doing everything the pros do, we're doing it six days a week. Free high time! You sacrifice your body, you sacrifice your mind, you sacrifice your food, you sacrifice your social life. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen, because this is what it takes. Way harder than what I thought it was gonna be. And most of you aren't gonna be able to come anywhere close to fighting in five years, let alone five fucking months. Quit, I'm gonna cut you, or step the fuck up. Some people are just born fighters. Some people are just born not fighters. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry for my teammates, my coach, my friends, everybody who was supporting me. This is a team sport. I didn't realize it until now what it is. The weight cut was the singular most horrendous experience of my life, bar none. Oh, we got help. We got help. We got help. Come on. Lost 15 pounds in 24 hours. Your brain is kind of, well, I guess it literally is shutting down. Sorry. What I didn't think about so much was the sacrifices that I would be forcing the people in my family into. I grab my bag and I'm walking out the door and my son, who's six, looks at me and says, Papa, please don't go. I really don't think the average person has any idea what these people are going through. They're gonna go to work with a black eye, their fingers are gonna be broken, their toes are gonna be broken. What if somebody kicks them in the head with their shin and cracks his skull? That's the nature of the sport. If you look at how many fans sit there and say, oh yeah, I could do that, or I could do that, no, you can't. No, you can't. And I shouldn't be able to. But man, I'm here, and I'm not gonna quit. I've spent an awful lot of my life being afraid. When you're afraid, your world is small. Don't break here or here. A lot of people walking around do the same thing every goddamn day. They're dead already. These people get out of bed and come down and try this. These are the people who are living. Push yourself! If you stop, you lose the fight! Hey! 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 Totally addicting. <laughs> Some of these guys that don't have prayer or fighting have drive like you wouldn't believe they can push themselves to levels that some of the pro fighters don't even reach. And that says something about who you are as a person. He's completely transformed himself. Ordinary people, when they put their minds to it, can do extraordinary things. Few that make it to the end, they get to tell people, I'm a pro mixed martial arts fighter. If you can do that in a year, you can do anything.